Who's your favourite YouTuber? Logan and Jake Paul. Logan and Jake Paul. Jake was in your uh, your your last Bangkok vlog. He was indeed. He did. <laughs> no ways. I met my favourite YouTuber, Jake Paul. Give him a little snack. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he likes bananas. <laughs> exactly, he likes scamming people too. He likes scamming his fans, his followers, so. Um, if you guys aren't aware, if you haven't been on Twitter or YouTube, there's a guy called Coffeezilla, who's, um, I like his content, I think it's class. Uh, I've binged lots of it. There's a few things over the years that, somehow they keep getting away with scamming people. Yeah, and it's not just them though, it's a lot of influencers. Loads. And YouTubers and all of these. We weren't really aware people. of it though, until we started watching these, because. It's not something I look into. It... Well, the thing is, these guys come up, they pop up on your YouTube band, you can't get rid of them. And they're all irrelevant. Yeah. They don't bring anything to society anyways. No. Nah. Empty shelves. Well, they've got a big influence, and what they use that influence for? Just to take money off the, the people they're influencing, and... Well, that's what they've been doing, yeah. It's beyond immoral. Yeah. Because, um... So... I'm not going to fully explain it. You you know enough uh, yeah. from what you watch it. But for the people who are listening who don't know what we're talking about, cryptocurrency and NFTs, we're not fans of, of them. Yeah, NFTs They're are scams. a scam. They're yeah. just a scam. NFTs were a scam. Since they started, I realized. I was like, what? Yeah. Come and on. Don't crypto wasn't a scam, but people are using it to scam. Yeah, I think the exactly. crypto bros will understand what I'm saying yeah. there. Cryptocurrency makes sense, but then people are using it to scam, to rug pull. Yeah, exactly. So how it works... Some influencer gets paid to promote a coin. Everybody starts putting money in, and as soon as it's worth a ton of money, they pull the rug and they sell, and everyone loses their money. Just basically a pump and dump. A pump and dump, they, they happen all the time. It doesn't matter who else, this, this point was about your, your favorite YouTuber, Logan, because he's in a controversy right now with uh, Crypto Zoo, which is a, uh, it's not, <laughs> it's, it's not yeah. a project. It's a game. It's a game. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what these guys do, what happens is they get approached by shady crypto characters yeah. that see they have an influence and audience and they're like, okay, um, we can use their audience to pump and dump our shady crypto schemes, yeah? Project. Game. And that's how, yeah, they pump it up with their, they get all their millions of followers to go and buy, invest into it, and then they sell it. Invest? When it's, high. it's not invest. invest. It's yes, a, it's you're just losing your money, yeah. That's all it is. Whether they know or don't know when they first sign up, you have to do some due diligence. So, you were only found out today that I often get these messages about yeah. you people wanting to Approaching use, us, yeah. yeah, to want. I've had a few to, people, shady characters, approach me personally yeah. as well. Yeah, you need to create a, a Kaz coin, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we've got this investment opportunity for you. New NFT project. A new a, NFT. A new crypto coin. I'm Kaz gonna coin. create some JPEGs. I'm gonna sell sell you them for ten thousand dollars, and then um, just then the, the, the worthless. Yeah. Just pictures of you that I've drawn on paint. That's exactly what it is. All of these guys. People approach us saying, "Do you, you want to put your name to this thing?" And I yeah. just I click delete. Logan needs to clear his own to name. To manipulate the go live podcast exactly. Go, go, go live. live. Go live. If what if what you believe is true, then go live and debate it with the guy. Instead yeah. of yeah, he's being shady. It's, it's and, shady. Uh, if Logan Paul or Jake Paul or any of these influencers, KSI. Any of these dweebs that do nothing for a living, they're just shallow, meaningless shells to society. If any of them want to make it up to their fans, I'll beat them up for their fans. I don't like influencers taking advantage of their fans, and you shouldn't support it either. I don't like... Through I, crypto scams and NFT scams and... Further than that, I really dislike. I don't know if I hate it, but I really dislike... Influence so Jake and um, Logan Paul and, and their boys, then they know what they're doing, regardless of if somebody's come in and made them do it. And also, they what, know they're doing it. Also, what they're doing is they're teaching people their age that it's cool to act like that. They're teaching guys their age or younger people um, that it's acceptable to run around through life with no morals or values and scam people and act like a dickhead and just be complete fools. They, they, they're making it normal for people. So young kids look up to these clowns and think, oh, that's acceptable for me to act like that. So that's what yeah. I don't stand for. That's what I dislike a lot. I have a problem with this as well. Let's go keep with them two idiots. There are so many of their followers who are still got watching it going, that's cool, I want to do it. 
I don't want to scam people like they did. They've just made millions. The mentality of my favorite influencer thinks that's okay. Therefore, it's okay. It's mad. It's a mad thought. I would never look at what them two idiots have done and go, I should do that too. And that's why we brought out Cascoin. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a project. It's a game. It's a lifestyle. Yes, you heard that correctly, my friends. It's a game. Invest your last thousand dollars into my game. Every penny in your bank account. Go and donate it to Cascoin.